Mahi guys are weird, okay? Okay. They are. Mahi guys are weird. You got my, you're not gonna put your buff on? No. Okay. I got my buff on, Eric, who owns Mahi. And I'm excited because you know what? Here's why I'm excited. Tell me why you're excited. Because 90% of people who make lures don't really make that nice of lures. I agree. Lure, I'm a lure guy. Hard to, hard to impress me when it comes to lures. Um, back in the day, uh, 80s, 90s, 2000, we fished a ton of lures. We, we were have an art, there's an art to lure fishing. You guys don't do that these days, most of the time, especially in blue marlin game. Uh, most of it's dredge fishing and pitching. So when we were, back in the day when we lure fished, we were always studying you know, head shape, um, positioning, uh, how how different wave height affects lures differently. So you had to have a lot of different lures to be able to get them to fish right, to look right, to really. And, and Andy Moyes, if you look at that film, we talk about the older days of lure fishing. So because of those days where we were so detailed in lures, the, whether it was pakulas or the rats or the, uh, uh, the, the wombat or, you know, the abaco prowler or a bart, certain ones that in the, in the islands here were kind of the staples, okay? Now, you know, you, you look at these lure, a lot of these lures companies after a year, or you, you, you look at the head and the resin quality and, you know, talk a minute about the quality of this lure because you know I am a stickler about even bringing someone else's lures in here. The clarity of the resin